Um, so we're hoping to find that out as well. I mean, uh, Martha, I think that it, you know, doesn't matter how young or how old those kids were, there's still a, a huge hole in the heart of those families right now. In the morning it is just in the beginning state. To have a female shooter, we understand that she was armed with two AR-15 type weapons and a pistol. That's a lot of weaponry to carry, right? Security, they do it all the time if they're willing to spend the money. And in this case, you know, it remains to be seen why they didn't have. She was in the K through six age. There has to be some more recent connection to the school. And he believes uh, did attend this school at one point. Um, they're now at her home. Uh, they're probably digging through her belongings, trying to sort out what may have uh, possessed or motivated uh, this woman to to do this at, at 10 a.m. on a Monday morning. You know, this is something that a lot of people here are going to be struggling uh, to understand. And and this community, particularly not just Nashville, well, as you're talking about the the religious community that is a part of this story, knowing this is a private inside the school, uh, they. Can Came in contact with the suspect on the second floor, uh, and that is where they engaged and, and say that she was shot and killed at that point.